Good evening. It looks like a scene from Frozen. And meet my friend Elsa, one of the animals at the zoo that loves the snow. We have some mullet fish. And then we dropped in on Chumani and Slide's dinner time, but with all the slithering through the snow and swimming in icy waters, go, go, go. It's clear they don't mind the cold. To get the otters outside, we actually just spent probably a good 45 minutes breaking up the ice. We do have a bubbler system, but when it gets down this low for several days in a row, it just can't keep up. Keeping up is a full-time job. The zoo's animal care supervisor said clearing the snow is a huge part. If it piles too high, animals could escape. We were greeted by this mountain lion, unfazed by the mounting snow. What are you doing? I know. The snow leopard, still visible, but passing on polar playtime. Pretty much anybody that can be in, out in winter can go almost the whole winter season. But just like humans, the wintry wind chills are not for everyone. Some of the animals are moved inside. We keep them at a cooler temperature still so that we're not shell shocking them when we want to put them back outside. But just something a little more comfortable than zero. Most of the animals have indoor and outdoor winter facilities like our otter friends. They decide for themselves when they want to brave the cold. Is there a certain temperature where it's like, you know, this is getting dangerously cold for everyone? We're about there. Um, even if it's not dangerous for the animals that can handle it right now, it's starting to really get to where we want to keep staff safe too. So these next couple days, there might be a couple more animals that they might be able to handle it, but we might not be able to safely get them outside. They might have to take a day break or so. Even though these felines can handle these Arctic temperatures, don't forget about your furry friends. Make sure you're bringing any household pets indoors. In Grand Rapids, Marvis Herring, 24 Hour News 8.